Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am here to clear out all your doubts regarding the Salesforce Virtual Internship 2025. I know that many of you having so many doubts and some of you already reached our telegram channel and asked your questions. I hope you got some idea. But I am making this video for all the remaining students who are having this type of questions. And I have noted the questions that the students asked. And these are the questions that most of the students having the doubts. So I will clear out these questions at the end. And I want to clear the whole process of this internship first. So watch the video up to the end so that you will having a clear idea about this internship. So without wasting more time, let's jump into the video. The very first thing that we need to do in this internship is completion of this trail mix. We need to complete this trail mix by SBVIP 2025. And there are more than 70 plus modules and super batches available here. We need to complete each and every one. So at the top we can see that the progress of this trail mix completion. And I had completed 39% of this trail mix. But we need to complete 100% of this trial mix. Once you complete this trial mix 100%, we need to copy the trial head profile URL. For that, click on this icon and here click on this profile. So here is the trial head profile URL. Copy that. And this URL should be in public. To know whether it is in public or private, we need to move to the settings page. Further, click on this profile and here click on this settings option. So we can see that your profile privacy and there are two options. One is private and public. So it should be in public. If in your case it is in private, then select this public option. Then only the trailhead profile URL is in public. So that anyone can access the profile URL and they can check whether you completed the modules or not. So again we will move to this profile. And here copy this trailhead profile URL. So after taking your trailhead profile URL ID, then we need to submit this ID in the skill wallet. So let's move to the skill wallet. So this is the skill wallet. You need to log in to this myskillwallet.ai website. And after login, this is the dashboard page. And here you can see that Salesforce developer with A's and Blazor champion. Here click on this access resource. Again click on this access resource. So this is our internship page. The first step here is the instructions. So these are the instructions that how we get the certificate and how we need to complete this internship. And after that we can see the learning journey. So these are the session recordings and available here. And after that the course details. So we can see that all of these 5 courses that we need to complete to be eligible for the certificate. So we need to enroll for each and every course which are available here. And to enroll. First of all, click on this enroll and here we can see that please update your trailblazer link. So we already copied the trailhead profile URL. Again move to the trailhead and then copy it. After that paste it here. After adding the URL, click on this submit button. So here we can see that the trailblazer link is updated. And also here click on this enroll now. So yeah, the course is added successfully. So we got this access resource button. Like this, we need to enroll for all of these five courses. So after adding all of these five courses, click on this access resource. So these are the super batches that we need to complete. If you complete this object relationship super batch unit, then here click on this mark as completed. And then move to the next topic. 
So if you completed this data validation, then click on this mark as completed. So like this, we need to mark all the topics that are available here. And if you haven't completed any one, just click on that. And here is the trailhead link. So click on that. So this is the super batch that we need to complete. So go here and complete this super batch unit. And all the module answers and super batch answers are available in our channel. So do check out that. And after completing all of these, just click on this mark as completed for all of that. Then the progress will get to 100%. After that, click on these courses. So you need to do the same for all of these five courses. So this is about the course details. After that, move to this capstone project. First of all, understand all of the titles and think what the project requirements may be. And the project that you have chosen could be useful in your future. So think that also. And once you decide this project I want to take, then click on this enroll now button. Then you will be enrolled in that project. And be cautious while taking this project because once you enroll for one project, then you can't be able to change that project. So be aware of that and select your project. In my case, I have taken this Hansman Threads project. So I got this access resource button. Click on this access resource. So this is the use case of this project. And also here, this is the project progress. And I need to submit the GitHub link and also I need to submit the demo link. And after that, here we can see the workspace. So here they had mentioned all the instructions of the project. So like we need to create one of the developer account. Each and everything with images they added. So take all the instructions here and complete your project as it is. After that, there is an Kanban. So here we need to drag and drop our to-do cards to be reviewed. So to drag and drop these cards, first of all, we need to submit the GitHub URL or the demo link. If you submit them, then these cards will be moved. And we should need it to move to the cards to be reviewed. So this is about the project. And the next one is assessment. So this is the assignment tab. And the assignment is not open yet because I haven't completed the courses. If you complete all of these courses and got your progress as 100% then your assignment will get begin. So to start this assignment, we need to click on this begin assignment. And the assignment will be proctored with camera and mic. You should be aware of that. And about the assignment questions and all, I will make a video regarding each and everything clearly. Do check out that video. And also that if you complete all of these steps, you will be eligible to get the certificate. So this is the whole process of the Salesforce virtual internship. So let's move to the commonly asked questions. First question is how to get Salesforce internship certificate. So to get your internship certificate, you need to complete trail mix and also you need to complete the assessment. If you complete these two, then you will be eligible for the certificate. And there is a chance of career fair. To be eligible for the career fair, you need to complete the skill valid modules and also you need to complete the project. So if you complete all of these four, you will be eligible for the career fair also. In the next question, is trial mix enough to get the certificate? Yes, the trial mix is enough to get the certificate and with that you need to complete the assessment. And the next question is, which project is best? So I don't want to tell any one project is best because for me one project is simple but in your case it will be difficult. So I don't want to tell that but I want to give a suggestion there are five projects in the skill valid. First, understand all the titles and think of the requirements of the project and then enroll for that. And aware of all the questions that you did in the project so that it will be helpful in your interviews and also 
if you kept this project in your resume that will add weightage so take all the titles and select one of them then complete it by your own and if you want from my side to be help for the project i will make a video on that and i will post it in the channel do check out that video and learn the project the next question is how to submit the project and to submit the project we need to upload all the files screenshots and the codes that you used in the github and also we need to make a video explaining the project and we need to publish that video in your google drive or youtube whatever the platform you want but and the url should be in public so upload the video in google drive and take the url and submit the url in the skill wallet once you submit the github url and the video then you need to drag and drop the cards available in the kanban and the cards to be in to be reviewed section so once you drag it that cards to be reviewed then the mentors who are there they will verify mm -hmm. they change the status to completed so like this we need to submit the project i hope that i have cleared all your doubts and i have explained the each and every step that we need to do in this internship if you are having any more doubts do comment in this video will definitely reply and do share our channel to your friends it will help them too that's it thank you